see Muzzle Mike has started a whole McDonald's rant set of videos. I guess uh, Keith and John, the Buckeye boys, are getting involved. And I can see a few more coming on board. Started with his rant about lack of trash cans at the Canton McDonald's. That's the McDonald's I actually stopped at with him when we were on our way to uh, the clubhouse. Not this year, but last year when we went down for the big meetup at the Buckeye Boys Clubhouse. So I'm going to kind of join in on this rant, but I'm going to take, take it in a whole different other direction. Not that I'm encouraging anybody else to do. I mean, go and check out their videos if you can. It's, uh, it's more or less just a bunch of comedy bits, but it is hellaciously funny, at least in my opinion it is. And I talked to Mike and he never thought that everybody would take off with his uh, simple McDonald's rant on the lack of garbage cans and run with it like they did. But I had something, I got into an argument on Facebook. Uh, a lot of this is Facebook related. So if you don't care to hear about that, you know, tune out, go to another video, whatever. It won't hurt my feelings. But I started out with uh, talking about the McDonald's incident with the hot coffee and how I was kind of glad that McDonald's didn't back down on uh, serving their coffee and start serving a crappy lukewarm coffee, especially since finally, in the last few years, McDonald's coffee doesn't taste like pure garbage. I mean, it actually, they've got some good flavored coffee now and I don't mind actually stopping to have it. In fact, some McDonald's even have really nice uh, gourmet coffees besides, but man, their coffee used to be god-awful years ago. It tasted like vinegar to me. But anyway, that's just the uh, beginning part of it. And then from there, what I did was I went to the McDonald's Facebook page to see what it was like. And boy, you should have seen all of the flaming all over the place. I mean, people just reading McDonald's, the riot act, because for some reason, they did not grasp the fact that McDonald's is not a health food store. They talked about how horrible it is that McDonald's sells the kind of food they do. Well, guess what, people? McDonald's, and there it is right there. There's the McDonald's close to me. That's a McDonald's Corporation McDonald's. They call it a McCopco. Not a franchise owned by McDonald's themselves. The main headquarters and where they teach people is in this plains just east of here. But I'm gonna come to their defense and say McDonald's has never ever claimed to be a health food store. Why would you ever think that that was a healthy, balanced meal to have on a regular basis? It's a once in a while treat is what it's meant to be. Would you go out and buy your kids a Mars candy bar? Well, yeah, maybe you would as a treat, but would you buy that for breakfast, supper, and dinner and expect them to live off of Mars candy bars? Absolutely not. It's a special treat, but it has nothing related to a uh, healthy diet. I probably eat at McDonald's every, I don't know, two to three months right there. Burger King, I eat there probably about once a month. I like it a little bit better, but I don't dislike McDonald's, so every few months when I get tired of Burger King, I might stop at McDonald's for a treat instead, but would I ever attempt to live off of McDonald's food? No, that would be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it might have a tiny bit of nutrition in it, but basically you're talking about uh, grease and uh, salt and a few other things like that. I mean, it's basically just, uh, you like it because you like the flavor of it, and that's about it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just a little bit that the people are kind of mad because uh, McDonald's has discovered something that no other restaurant has so far. That's how to win the money, the wallets, and the appetites of uh, the majority of people in the entire world. Believe me, if McDonald's all of a sudden figured out they could become the best restaurant in the entire world by uh, serving vegan salads, they would certainly do that. But they're going to sell what people are willing to buy. So if you're crazy enough to think that McDonald's is a health food store and think you're going to get a healthy meal there and then blame them because you get fat or you're unhealthy, you have nobody but yourself to blame. At least that's my opinion.